We are going to look at inoculating an enteropleury multiple test system for identification of gram-negative enteric bacteria belonging to the Enterobacteriaceae family. We have two things in front of us. The enteropleury, which has 12 compartments that have various biochemical tests in them. We also have a plate with bacteria. This is a pure culture of the bacterium to use as inoculum for the enteropleury. When you look at the enteropleury, you see two ends. This end has a blue cap. Under the blue cap is a little handle to pull the wire that goes down the center of the tube. If you look at it this way, you can see this wire going through the center of the tube. On the other end is a white cap that covers a sterile needle. This needle is used to pick up a small amount of the bacterium to be identified. You can see the various compartments. They've got different colors. You can see that these have wax on top of them. The wax allows for the creation of an anaerobic environment. The inoculation of this tube is a rather simple process. We are going to start by taking the blue end cap off. You can see the little wire is bent into the shape of a handle. Then we are going to come down to the other end and we're going to take the white cap off. That's going to expose the needle, which is sterile. We take the petri plate with a pure culture of the bacterium to be identified. We open it up and again, we don't want to open it too much. Then we are going to gently rub the needle on the colony to gather some of the bacterium sample on the end of the needle. We close the petri plate. Now I will take the handle over here. We'll start to pull it, not too fast or not too slow. As we pull, you will see the needle go through the center of the tube. As it's doing that, it is inoculating the various compartments. Go all the way into the middle of the last compartment, the red one covered with wax. You should be able to see the end of the wire in this last compartment. Now push it back, again, not too fast. As you're pushing it all the way back, look at the wire. At about two inches away from inserting the wire back into its original position, you're going to see the little line right here, which is a score. The score is going to allow you to break off the handle. We push that score right even to the end of the tube. Next, grab hold of the tube, then grab the loop end of the wire and bend it in one direction. All of a sudden, it snaps. Now, put the blue closure on this end. Remember, the blue closure always goes near the wax layer. You can look at the other end and see that the needle is no longer sticking out. Now you're going to take the white closure and put it on this end. Next, you see the little openings in the plastic on the side here. These that look like airplane windows, they're covered with plastic film. We need to perforate the film. We need to do this carefully to ensure that we don't cut the film on the top. If it cuts the film on the top, it could allow for contamination. The easy way to do this is to take the end of the loop and carefully push this end of the handle through the plastic film. Make sure you punch a tiny hole there. You can see the little hole and that will allow oxygen in to aerate that compartment. Make sure you puncture all eight holes. Once you've got that done, it is time to incubate the tube. Put your name here, label it, place it in the incubator, put the flat surface down so it sits in the incubator nicely and it also doesn't roll and no condensation will form on the inside of that plastic film. We have placed a time lapse in here to demonstrate all the possible changes that can occur over time. You can begin to see changes in a few hours, but the manufacturer recommends 18 to 24 hours to get good results. Then after it incubates, you can observe the changes. You can see these as visible and distinct changes in color. We have an excellent screencast on how to interpret these results. Take a little time to get acquainted with reading, interpreting results, and this will help you in your understanding of these important tests.